Well, yeah, because in 1996, at 34 years old, the Yankees win the World Series with you on the team. And then in 1998, the Yankees win the World Series again with you on the team. I mean, how does it feel to have two more two more rings, you know, age 34, 36? I, I, I considering think, everything you had gone through. Sorry. Go considering no. everything you had gone through. Well, I, I, I thought it was really cool because I, I got a chance to laugh at a lot of reporters that said I couldn't play anymore. And it was so funny because that's what they were saying when George, the boss, was thinking about bringing me back to the Yankees. They was like, well, he can't play. He can't catch up with fastballs. He can't hit major league pitching anymore. And a lot of these guys that I, I, and some of the media that I knew from my early days when I played over in Queens, um, they would always have a reason to be negative towards you, you know, because you have, you know, fallen short in life. Uh, it, it's, I'm just a baseball player. I'm still a person somewhere underneath there, you know, and, and they were talking about my baseball skills. So I laughed about it because I knew my baseball skills had not diminished, you know, and I knew I could just get up and get going. And, 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 and once I got up and, and done that and showed them that, I didn't have to say anything. Um, it, it, my performance on the field spoke for itself. Because a lot of times they thought I wasn't go, wasn't going to play. But they were wrong about it. Because Joe Torre, he had more faith in me than they could ever imagine. And he always told me, I'm not worried about what anybody say about you. I know you can play and you're going to play. And, and, and that's what I kind of kept quiet about and just went out there and played. I did my thing and everything everything took care of itself from there. Well, I mean, here you are with the Yankees. You just won a World Series. But then on October 1st, 1989, you get diagnosed with colon cancer. A relatively young man, 36 years old. How does how does someone in your position really get their head around such a such a horrible diagnosis? 1998. I played I played that whole year, and that was a good year for me with the Yankees. Um, little did I know I had a tumor inside of me the whole year of playing. I knew something was wrong as the season was going because I started to lose weight. And I had blood in my stew all the time, and I wouldn't say anything about it. I would go to the ballpark, and I would drink Maalox every day. Um, I'm an athlete. You know, if, it, if, if my arm's not cut off and my, my knees, I didn't blow my knee out, I'm going to be all right. You know, that's the way we think. And, and I was playing and losing weight. And then I went to the trainer at the end of the season in September. And I said, I got a lot of blood in my stool. And, you know, I've been dropping weight. Uh, what do you think I should do? And I said, well, let's get you into the doctor after the end of the season, the last game of the season. So we waited till the last game of the season so, uh, that year. And then I went in and I went in to see the doctor and they ran the test on me. And there it was, they found a tumor in my colon. And, um, and I was completely shocked because my mother died at the age of 55 from terminal breast cancer. So I was deeply worried. You know, here it is, I'm young, um, 36 years old, and here it is, I got a tumor and got cancer in me. You know, and going to find out, you know, that I was gonna have to go through a major surgery uh, to, to, to have that done, and I couldn't go the team was going into the playoffs, and I was supposed to be going with the team into the playoffs and after having a good year, come to find out I wouldn't be able to make it in the playoffs and in the series that year because I was gonna have a surgery, a major surgery, which I did. I went in and had the surgery, and it's like a seven hour surgery, something they did on me uh, to remove that tumor uh, out of me. And um, they told me after I went through that whole process uh, that it was like colon cancer, and you have to be extremely careful because it could reoccur at any time. And you were in a five-year window that I had to go through. I had to go through a five-year window. And, you know, I was going through chemo. And, I, I mean, I just hated it. I, I just wanted to be dead, you know, from the fact of going through chemo and, and dealing with all that over that all season to try to get back and fight, get back in uniform. 